Hello Mouses! It's been a while and I thought the best way to get back into this would be to answer Neromon's YouTube survey for 2011. So, let's go to it! Okay, question one. Tell us about your first kiss. Well. I can't remember mine, it was a while ago now, I was probably quite young, I think, Ooh. pick a number I suppose it is, I can't remember, it was it was that important to me, what can I say, I'm someone who isn't really interested in that kind of thing, I'm totally asexual, and have no actual desire to get involved with people in that way, so, I know, I, was, I could be any age, <laughs> who knows, on to the next question. What is the most expensive item of casual clothing that you've ever bought? Well, for me, that would be a pair of new rock boots that I had when I was in university for the first time studying physics. They were they were basically what looked like Judge Dredd's boots from the Judge Dredd film, and I know the Judge Dredd film is bad, but never mind. They were almost knee-high, big platforms with metal bits on, lots of clips, and they just looked so damn cool. I'm pretty sure I've still got them in the house, but I don't know where they are, so I can't really show you. But I can show you my not quite casual shoes. They're more fancy dress, and I have them here. Again, they're almost knee high. They're very, very high on the heel, and they have horseshoes on the bottom. I got them because they look just so damn cool. And yes, I realised after I bought them that they are in fact from, let's say, it, it would probably be 18 rated activities that they're actually from, but I just like the look of them and they make a click clop when you walk. It's very hard to walk in them, but they're good fun nevertheless. And, and they're probably my most expensive item of clothing that I have, being that they were £300. And I can't wear them outside because I can't walk in them very well. But never mind. On to the next question. What was the first job you ever wanted as a kid? Bit of a difficult one here yeah, because I loved comics. I loved drawing and I loved writing. So what I really wanted to be was a comic person. I wanted to do every single aspect of a comic. And these days I can. I do it on web comics. I write the comic, I draw the comic, I publish the comic, and I basically get to do exactly what I wanted to do as a kid for a living, so I'm one of the lucky people. Question four, tell us about your group of school friends. Well, I was a bit of an odd kid at school, I was one of the nerd group, and I had a small group of nerd friends, most of whom I didn't know the name of for about six or eight months after I actually met them, because I can't remember names. People tell me who they are, and then it goes straight out of my head, and I continue to talk to them, but I'll do the name avoidance game, so I'll refer to someone as, oh you know X, Y and Z, or you know that the guy we were talking to yesterday about the, the spaceships, or the guy, the, the guy with the hat, that kind, that kind of thing, I, that kind of thing. I never refer to anyone by their name if I can avoid it, because I can hardly ever remember it, and I'm always a little bit unsure who anyone is. It's just one of those things. I can remember pi to ten decimal places. I can remember exactly how to get to a location, having only been there once. I can never remember who anyone is. But there you are. But I can probably draw them. So, <laughs> it's just the way my head works. And my group of friends, we were fairly small. There was like five or six of us. We used to hang around all day talking about our views on science, uh, if you've ever seen the Big Bang Theory, the conversations they have, that's a kind of conversation I was having with my school friends. We would uh, talk about computer games, we would talk about general nerd stuff all day, and then we'd go home and we'd program computers, play computer games, and come back the next day and maybe show off what we'd done and talk about that. That was basically how we worked. Oh, apart from lunch times, when we did one of two things. We either played poker or we played Magic the Gathering. So there we go. <laughs> that was it. If there were cards involved, we were probably there. Card nerds is probably how we would be. Next question is, what would you name your kids? Well, I'm one of those people who can never have children, so I, this question is a bit moot for me. And if I didn't have children, it would be through adoption, so I'm pretty sure they come with a name already, which I'll probably forget. So I would probably stick to my family's tradition and name the children after my parents and my partner's parents. So if it was a boy, it would be uh, Thomas Philip. If it was a girl, it would be Anne Christine. So there you go. That's how it would work. That's what my kids would be named. 
provided they didn't come with names already. But they probably would, so the question's a bit new for me, but never mind. Final question. Who do you want to answer the survey next? Everyone. Let's all answer it. But if I had to pick a certain person, I think the Queen would be a good person to answer this question. So let's say the Queen, or the Prime Minister. That would be interesting too. Okay, so there you go. Thank you for watching. I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching a video, and I'll see you next time.